guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to another Way in Wednesday. We have completed 10 full weeks of 75 Hardish. I am currently on my last five days, and I'm gonna do a video all about what's next and what's to come. But in this video, we're gonna stay on topic and we're just gonna talk about week 10, and we're gonna start with my weight and how much I lost. So my weight for the week was 296.8, which is down 0.6 pounds and down a total of 34.2 pounds total overall and down a total of 19.2 pounds so far for 75 Hardish. So yeah, let's go ahead and go into this week in review. I don't think I have anything extra to share with you guys. I do know that Friday night was very emotional. I was very proud of myself. I have been faced with a lot of temptation lately, and that has really been hard for me, but I am so freaking proud of myself because it's especially when that scale starts slowing down or you get on it and you're like, you should say way more than what you do. Like as far as like you should be, you should weigh, I should weigh less than what I do from all of the activity and the amount of calories that I'm intaking, but you know what? We're not gonna go back to that mentality because trust me, it has come up where it's like, you're not losing weight, so go ahead and eat it. No ma'am, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, that, that this go round. So with that being said, let's go ahead. I'm With that being said, I'm very, very, very proud of myself because I have been facing a lot of temptation coming from everywhere. And I have said no to every single thing. Easter came and it went and there was so much, oh my gosh, there was just so much everywhere. And I said no to literally everything. So to see the scale at where it's at today, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I kicked it. I was a little pissed because I 100% I'm like, you, me because you should be less than that. But I always feel like the weeks where I struggle the most with temptation, those are the weeks that I'm tested the most when I get on that damn scale because it barely freaking moves and you're like, are you kidding me? I said no to this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that and you wanna say this? So yeah. I'm expecting to see a big loss coming up because I'm being tested and I know I am because like I said, the temptation is coming from literally everywhere, from inside my home to outside the home to people bringing things inside my home. It, it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So anyways, let's go ahead and go into this weekend review. 75 hardish day 64. Whoo, y'all, this was a day. But let me tell you, I felt so good in this little outfit. I was like, ooh, ooh, I'm feeling good, looking good. Okay, and then I read, like, I finished this book. It was called The Push. If you have read this, what did you think of the ending? It pissed me off. I was so mad. Anyways, I listened to 10 minutes of my self-help book. And then eventually, I finally got in my first workout, which was a walk. And don't let this arm workout fool you because, girl, is intense it's no body it's like all body weight and oh but let me tell you so much progress because when i first started i was dying i could not get through this 10 minute workout like arm workout and i killed it killed it so i did 10 minutes arms and then i also did 10 minutes of walking which i didn't show that but drank 120 ounces of water these are my stats girl i know they're not looking like they used to be that's okay i've been so freaking tired my body needs a break day 64 complete 75 hardish day 65 i took my progress picture then i took my 20 minute walk outside listened to 10 minutes of my self-help audiobook then i went and i worked arms in the gym today and i was like looking at this footage and i was like damn like i don't know i can just see major progress first of all i look taller 
I definitely look leaner. And looking at this footage right here, there is no way 60 something days ago that I would have been able to do this. So progress, so freaking proud of myself. Anyways, I did like 15, 16 minutes of arms and then I did like maybe like 10 minutes of walking. So that's just me saying, hey girl, hey. And then I drank, oh girl, I drank over a gallon of water. 120 ounces is my goal, but I drank like over a gallon today. But I read 10 pages of this book here are my stats. My energy is back. I'm praying it's here to stay. Day 65 complete. 75 hardish day 66. I took my progress picture and then my first workout, which was a 20 minute walk outside. Listened to 10 minutes of this self-help audiobook. Drank well over, I think about a little over a gallon. 120 ounces is my goal. So yay for that. Uh, read 10 pages of this book and then I did. Dancing is always so much freaking fun, but here are my stats and day 66 complete. 75 hardish day 67. We are nearing the end. Here's my progress picture. My first workout was a 20 minute walk outside. Listen to 10 minutes of my audiobook. My second workout was 30 minutes of dancing. 20 minutes is goal, but I was having so much fun. I read a ton today. 10 minutes was goal. Uh, drank over a gallon of, or yeah, over a gallon of water. 120 ounces is goal. Here are my stats. I ended up reaching my stand goal. Um, you just didn't see that, but day 67 complete. 75 hardish day 68 started out good um and then it kind of just started going downhill but i took my progress picture i totally forgot to take my walk or film my walk um i listened to an audiobook i read like more than 10 pages i forgot to film that drank over a gallon of water i danced and then i ended the day with like a good old fashioned cry session um this is a hard day for me i'm not even gonna try to front and lie um, try to like act like it wasn't. So day 68 complete. I did it. Though. Hey, so I have completed 10 full weeks of 75 Hardish. This is what I looked like looked like 10 weeks ago. And I also looked like this. So let's see where we're at today. And after 10 weeks, I look like this. Let's see what the scale says. 296.8. 296.8, which is 0 0.6 tenths of a pound. So basically half a pound down from last week. I am down 19.2 pounds in 10 weeks and down 34.2 pounds for my entire weight loss journey so far. So we are almost done with 75 Hardish. So I am so excited with that progress in 10 weeks. I will see you at the end of 75 days and we'll see my entire progress for the 75 days. So yeah, 19.2 pounds down as I'm filming this today. It is day 72. By the time you guys watch this, I only have two more days left. This has been more challenging emotionally, physically, and all of the above. And I don't know, I, I feel like I did, I, I don't know why. I'm so sorry for the people outside, but I have to film this right now because I have to edit this and get it up. So I apologize for the noise that they are making outside. I cannot control them. Um, 
but I feel like this 75 hardish has been very challenging. But I also can look at it and go, wow, I did that. Like I have completed a full on 75 hard, but this 75 hardish for whatever reason has been way more challenging for me, especially these last couple of weeks. I am ready to not have to work out twice a day and to just kind of not take a break, but to just not have to work out for a day or two. I'm really, really, really ready for it. I was really pumped like three weeks ago. I was like, I'm gonna see how far I could go. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm done at day 75. So day 75, that's it. Like I said, I will do a video very soon with letting you guys know, just in case you wanna join me in this next challenge. It's gonna be very, very, very similar, but I have made some tweaks. Yes, I have made some tweaks. One of them being I am not walking outside because I am tired of walking in that rain. Girl, it rained Friday and Saturday, and Saturday it really rained. I was literally soaked, and it rained all day, so there was no getting away from it. There was no, oh, let me wait until it stops. No, it was rained all day. The mental toughness, that's why this is not necessarily a weight loss challenge. It is a mental toughness challenge, and the fact that I've had to be in a calorie deficit for these 75 days while I'm still enjoying my food and I'm still allowing treats more so than 75 hardwood, I've still had to say no to a lot of stuff. Whereas maybe if I wasn't doing 75 hard, I'm, I know for a fact if I was not doing 75 hard, I would have given in to a lot of things. But because I'm doing 75 hardish, I am laser focused on, I'm staying in a calorie deficit, this is what I'm doing, this is what's going on, and yada yada yada. So anyways, like I said, a video is coming up explaining what I'm doing the week before. I'm gonna take a full entire week off, and I don't mean I'm like doing it, I actually am gonna do something a little dis different, something I've never done before, something I'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous to do but I'm going to do it because I need to practice it and I will again talk about that in next Wednesday's video I think instead of it being a weigh-in video I don't know what I'm gonna do that might be a video on itself where y'all see next that's exactly what it's gonna be it's gonna be a video next Friday that's gonna go up so it'll give y'all enough time if you want to join in on the challenge um, because let's see this challenge ends this Friday so yeah, it'll give y'all enough time to decide if you want to join in on the challenge because my next challenge starts on April 24th. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys did this past week. I am, even though I'm pissed at the scale, I am just overall so proud of myself. This was a non-scale victory. I don't think I shared it in this video, but I shared it in Miss Green Eyes or on Miss Green Eyes, I was not able to wear this necklace. Like it was just, you know, there's just like, there's just so much. These jeans that I'm wearing, they fit so good and I'm not having to adjust them every time I get up or get down and there's just so many things. So while the scale is being a little bitch right now, there's so many other things that I'm just so grateful for that I am so proud of myself too for continuing to say no, no, no. Because in life, when you are trying to seek balance, you can't say yes, especially someone who has an eating disorder, working on an eating disorder, former, you know, when I'm thin, I will be a former big girl. I can't say no, I will not be able to say yes to everything. You know what I mean? So it, it's exercising that self-control that has been really crucial. I know it needs to be done even though it's been so freaking hard. And I'm again, so proud of myself for saying no every single time. And the mm, past two weeks, maybe even three weeks, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a while. So anyways, oh, I did wanna say this has been helping me and these babies, I wanted to try this on camera actually. They sent me these. It's the Built Puff Cookies and Cream. 17 grams of protein, 140 calories. These are cookies and cream. And if you know, you know I freaking love Built Puffs and the flavors that they have, like are you kidding me? I don't know when these will be available. But I do know 
I do know that the coconut brownie, if that was your favorite, because that is my all time favorite. That one is coming up soon too, so keep your eye out on Built Bar's website because they're coming, they're coming, okay? These, these will be launching today. So, uh, you guys, as you are watching this, will be able to get these. So, let's see, let's see if I approve it, if I think you should go get them. Are there cookies on the outside? Mmm. Oh, yeah. You absolutely, you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you absolutely need to get your hands on this. Um, the Built Bar, um, ooh, the, the uh, Coconut Brownie Strip is going to be launching on the 13th. Thank you, Built Bar, for coming in clutch with that because 140 calories, that is my snack for the day, and it's 17 grams of protein, so I don't have to compromise my protein. It's also freaking delicious, but yeah, I'm totally buying those uh, coconut brownie strip, and they also have the cookie dough strip is coming back on the 13th too, so when you guys are seeing this, it's Wednesday, so tomorrow, get all of them. But yeah, MGE 10 is going to save you 10% on Built Bars. I highly recommend them. I literally have a Built Puff every single day. Yesterday, went to the movies. Guess what? Everyone I went with, snacking. Guess what I brought? A built bar I brought the churro one and I snacked on that and it was delicious I highly 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 recommend these built bars again MGE 10 is going to save you 10% I will have a link down below or you can just go on their website and use code MGE 10 to save 10% you're gonna want what's coming up like I said the cookie dough strip and the coconut brownie and then these cookies and cream Go get you some girl. But anyways, I'm for real gonna go this time. I love you guys, have an amazing day. I will see you guys on Friday with a what I eat in a day vlog. Bye guys.